Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today we are going to talk about the battery on your iPad or iPhone and how to reduce the draining of the battery. It is often a problem for a lot of users that the battery is not uh, lasting long enough after you have the recharged your battery and I have some tips and tricks how to uh, help your battery last for a longer period. So first of all, go into your settings and in here in your settings, you actually have a section called battery. So in here, you are able to uh, see what is your most important and most uh, used app that is using your battery. And in here you can see what apps is the most uh, battery usage apps. And uh, as you can see here, I'm a bit overwhelmed or at least a bit surprised that uh, my weather app is actually using my battery a lot. So I can go in and I can actually see how many minutes and uh, how often uh, this battery was used by a specific app. So have a look at your uh, apps and see what is using your battery. And uh, sometimes you are actually a bit surprised that uh, this is something that you didn't expect. And up here you also have, you can see at the last 24 hours, I would probably recommend you to look at the last 10 days and see which app was the most uh, usage of your battery because the last 24 hours that can be maybe not the most uh, yeah representative uh, of what you're using your uh, iPhone or iPad for so take a look at your last 10 days and if you are surprised then either delete the app that you are not using anymore or don't want to use anymore or change the settings of some of those. And changing the settings is one of the things that is also very important to look at. And uh, what I would like to uh, go into now is the background app refresh. A lot of your apps is actually running in the background and is using the battery, even if you don't think you are using the app. So uh, go into general, go into background app refresh, and in here, you can see all the different apps that is allowed to run in the background. And as you can see, there is actually quite a few. So uh, a lot of these apps is not some that I use that often. So there is absolutely no need that the, those are running in the background while I'm not using them. So just make sure to check, uncheck. Uh, the apps that you don't use uh, and uh, then you actually will get a better battery life. Next thing up is to have a look at your brightness display and brightness in the settings. In here, there is two things that I would recommend you to have a look at. The first one is the uh, display and the brightness. There is two different modes. You can uh, have it appearing and there is the light and the dark and actually the dark one is using less power and less battery if you choose that one so have a look at that and the other one is the auto lock down here you can uh, have a setting how long time it goes in an inactive mode uh, that it will auto lock your ipad and close down the screen so my recommendation is to have it set for five minutes, but uh, if you want to save more battery, then you can also have it set for two minutes. But it's, of course, a balance between those. My recommendation is to use the five minutes. The next thing is also to have a look at the location service. So the location service is also a background service that is running and is asking your network or whatever where are we located right now and a lot of apps use that location to either 
have uh, commercials, advertising in the apps and all kinds of stuff. It is something that is used uh, and can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. So if you have a lot of apps that is using this location service that can actually drain your battery. So we'll go into your apps in here in your privacy and security section in the settings, go in the top for the location services. And in here, you will actually be able to see the apps and how often and how they can use uh, this uh, service. So I had my weather app actually drain, draining my battery a lot. So, and I'm not really using the weather app on my iPad. So I have this widget that is probably running a lot of this location service. So I would actually recommend to set it to never. But of course, if you are using this service and using this app or widget, then it is of course a good idea to allow this to be running. You can also have a look at the system services. You of course have to be a bit more careful about what you uh, disable in here, but uh, you are actually able to disable some of the system services that is using the location service for different things. So have a look at those and uh, disable those that you know that you are not using at all. And then it will actually help your battery last for a longer time. I hope uh, this was uh, something that you could use in your case. And uh, if you have any comments uh, or questions, then put it in the uh, comments section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot to me. Thank you for listening and stay tuned.